What's going on Collider Games fans? It's been a long while since I've last said that, but I'm glad to be saying it again as today what we're going to be talking about is some of the brand new things that have come to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, specifically Call of Duty Warzone, through the patch notes that have become available earlier this morning. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who are just as addicted to Warzone as I am, and this is actually a pretty big update to Warzone, one of the last big updates that we're going to get before the next season. We're not going to go over everything though in the patch notes, so if you want to read it all top to bottom, it's going to be linked in the description, but I wanted to go over specifically some of the stuff going on in Warzone, so let's get into that. First things first, we got a brand new item added into Warzone known as the Armor Box. In the buy stations now, you're going to be able to see this available to purchase for six thousand dollars and it's also going to be available as ground loot as a rare drop and essentially it is exactly what it sounds like just like the munitions box when you drop it on the ground you get fully loaded on your munitions if you drop the armor box on the ground you get fully loaded on armor i think this is a great addition to the game it adds a whole new element of support play for your team even if you're playing in solos this is a great thing to have to be carrying around with you during the late game you know if you're maxed out on armor already buy yourself an armor box. That way, if you ever find yourself in a bind, if you find yourself in a situation where it's late game and you just have no way to get any armor, you always have that at the ready to max out your armor in your inventory. It's also worth mentioning that the buy stations now have the armor box replacing the shield turret, which I think is a great decision. Nobody buys the shield turret. Nobody spends their money on that unless they do so accidentally. So there's no real use for it to actually be in the buy station. The thing is though, it is still available as floor loot. It's not completely removed from the game, just removed from buy stations to accommodate for the addition of armor boxes. Moving on, most wanted bounties are back in the game. If you've been playing for a little while, you know that these were added for like a day and then immediately removed. And essentially the concept of the most wanted bounty is the entire map knows your position for a certain amount of time, but if you survive that amount of time, your teammates get brought back and revived for free and you get a decent chunk of change from it. The good news is they do not replace regular bounties like they did the first time that they were around and the time limit to survive most wanted bounties have been reduced from five minutes to now three minutes, which I think is much more manageable. There was also a bit of an update to the floor loot in the game and some of the legendary and epic blueprints that you can get. They added the new SKS, which is in the legendary form, and they updated five new blueprints, being the AX50, the Kilo 141, the FAL, MP7, and the AUG. Obviously, these weapons can be extremely helpful before you get your load up, but once you do, none of that stuff really matters anyways. And now the next part of the patch notes is something that I am really excited about. They added a couple of new loadouts to the Gulag. They added six new ARs and four SMGs, all automatic, no burst, no single fire guns included. So now, although hopefully you're not getting sent to the Gulag too often, if you are, you can expect to see weapons like the Kilo 141, the M4, AK-47, M13, SCAR, Ram 7, MP5, AUG, P90, and the Striker 45 to be in your hands. Like I said, I think this is great, and I'm glad that there's just a little more variety in here and just provides less of a chance for me to get a shotgun in the Gulag as those weapons are the most inconsistent in the gulag ever and now i want to move on and gloss over some of the general fixes because like i said if you want to read the entire patch notes it's going to be linked in the description but i wanted to talk a little bit about a big nerf that has come to a weapon that a lot of people were worried about after those snake shot 357s were nerfed and that of course is the Renetti. this is a brand new pistol that was added in season three for modern warfare and if you level up the weapon enough you have the ability to unlock a three round burst mod and then of course you can also get the akimbo perk for the weapon and essentially makes it one of the most OP weapons in the game. Well, they've been officially toned down and here's what specifically happened to them. The max ammo reserve has been reduced. With the Mark III burst mod, the hip fire has been significantly increased. And with the Mark III burst mod, there is a small decrease to damage. When you have the akimbo and the Mark III burst mod equipped, there is reduced damage to the gun. So we'll see how all this plays out, but it looks like for now, people are probably gonna go back to their good old trusty RPGs and potentially their overkill MP5 or MP7 loadouts. There's plenty more in the patch notes that are worth checking out, but that just about covers, I think, the major important things that I'm sure a lot of people want to know about. Again, if you wanna read everything, gonna be linked in the description. But that's it, we now wanna kick it to you guys. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about the latest patch notes for Warzone, and are you excited for some of the new additions coming to Warzone? If you enjoyed the video, you can hit that like button to show your support, and you can also subscribe to the Collider Games channel for more coverage on all gaming content. I've been Caboose, 
and you can follow me on Twitter at Caboose EK, and I'll see you guys later.